Hello everyone, this is Garrett and this is Penumbra Overture. And uh, since the last time we played, I made the brightness a bit higher because apparently it's really, really dark. Um, anyway, the last time we were playing, I um, had to make a choice between these three areas. I think I'm going to get my... That's not the trusty hammer I was t thinking of. I'm going to get my trusty hammer out. And time to get a move on. Left. I found a ladder. That might be useful. You never know when you suddenly am in dire need of... Wait, I do need a ladder, actually. Think about it. Uh, there is a... Uh, okay, that was a noise I didn't expect that to make, but... I was kind of hoping this would be one of those magical ladders you could just put in your inventory, but... Sadly, no. Plunk. Get over there. Get to the place where ladders are required for judgment of the soul. I don't even know what that means, but I'm going with it. I wonder if this is one of those magically reattaching ladders, at least. That would be nice. Magically reattach, go! Yes! It is a magical reattachment ladder. Just what I needed. Those are the things I need in life. Along with this hammer. I should probably hit those things with a hammer soon, but I'm first going to check out if there's nothing actually... Ah, no, nah, I don't need to check out things. Die. Let's see what we can find in this barrel. Yeah! Nothing. How about that barrel? Oh, that thing's not going to break, is it? <laughs> break all the wooden things, you never know. They might contain treasure. Or they might just be entirely unbreakable. Also very possible. Maybe if I poke it, like, um, I said poke it. No, poke. I'm pretty sure that was a way to poke things with the... Oh, am I crouching? I didn't even realize that. Whoop. Okay. I want to poke it with my pokey hammer of poke. One of these days, you will do what I tell you, but it doesn't seem like today is that day. I'm just going to continue. It doesn't look like there's anything inside these wooden things, and if there is, I can't really seem to break them, which is a sad thing indeed. Now, I still hear the pitter-pattering of spidey spiders. That's probably not good for me. I don't think I'll stay away from that. Hmm. So far. Oh, what the hell are you? A horrible sight. Luckily, it's mummified, or else the smell would have been awful. Oh, my. Yes, Philip. Would have been horrible if you had to smell something that didn't smell very nice. Philip! What is that? Dry, dusty old bags. Ooh. These are bags? These aren't bags, you liar. It's a flare. Could come in handy as a light source. If only I remembered how to pick up things when I had a hammer in my hand. Uh, some sort of diary entries. Apparently this is more than one entry. There you go. Day one. I begin this record. Still in the hope that the great work we have undertaken here might one day be of scientific value, despite the chaos which has ensued in the six hours previous. My aim is to remain secure until what help there may be arrives. And to that end, I have barricaded myself into a small workshop area in the abandoned part of the mine. I hope that the meager food rations here will keep me alive, and that those I hide from will not jeopardize that. Perhaps this mine really is cursed. It's almost precisely thirty years since the incident that brought us here, and now, thirty years on, fate has struck again. Day 3 Apparently we lost day two. I forecasted that today the rescue crews would arrive, but I can only hypothesize, hypothesize that they would be unaware of my location, and hence busy themselves evacuating the other survivors. If they have not arrived by tomorrow, I will go out in search of them. Day six. My first mistake was to make assumptions on the matter of rescue. My second mistake was to make assumptions on the safety of this mine. My third mistake was to act on both of these assumptions in going outside of my safe haven. My best estimate is that I left the workshop where I was secured about two days ago in search of aid, and I have found only danger. I approached the old living quarters, but curiously could find no sign of life whatsoever. I returned in what I thought was the direction from which I had come, but soon found myself in an unfamiliar locale. Confused but focused, I attempted to make my way home, but found myself threatened by some species of feral creature which seems to have made this old mine its home. Although the specimen bore significant interest to me, I, I chose to retreat, only to find myself outmaneuvered and outnumbered by the beasts. 
I turned and ran, injuring my ankle in the process, which I believe now is most likely a sprain rather than a fracture. For some time I cowered and fled into the dark, but a few hours ago I discovered a door leading into a smaller, disused part of the mine, the key for which I still have in my pocket. Within that area I discovered the storeroom, and I think it should keep me safe for some time. This place is a maze. My lesson learned. I will not venture out again until I am certain the area is safe. Day 19. Rescue seems increasingly unrealistic. Supplies diminishing. Lots of spiders in this place. I do not like spiders. Day 34. I caught one of those accursed eight-legged beasts nestling in my open mouth when I woke up this morning. In my surprise, I swallowed it. It's not so much the act of a swallowing which concerns me, but the genus of Arachnid. Arachnid, even. It would be unlikely that a cave-dwelling spider would be venomous to any significant degree, but the possibility troubles me all the same. Day 35. Any known venom would have affected me by now, and so today is the first minor cause for celebration I have had since the incident. By lucky coincidence, this revelation also means I have discovered a virtually inexhaustible supply of nutrition. I intend to venture into the basement beneath this storeroom, in the name of science, to discover more about this creature's natural habitat. Day 50. For four days now, I've been surviving solely off the quite considerable sustenance provided by the spiders. For some time, I was struggling to gather enough of the crunchy little morsels. However, Lady Luck smiled on me once more when the batteries in my torch died and I made a second life-saving findings. The creature's natural habitat is in the dark. With my light now diminished, I need only lie still for a few minutes and I will have attracted enough of the beast for a rather hearty meal. Yeah! So that's an interesting lifestyle, spider eaten. I'm gonna grab my hammer again, just in case. That guy seems to have gone slightly insane, just a little bit. This guy doesn't look like he's too happy about life. Oh, that's more blood than I anticipated when I would hit a corpse like this with a hammer, but oh my god, it just keeps on coming. How much blood can a cadaver have? No idea. I guess mummified bodies often have a lot of blood in them. Uh. Anyway, let's see. I guess this is the last. Is this where I came from? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. But I still hear the bitter pattering. I guess maybe I should try to see what happens when I try to go here. The steam could blister flesh from bone in an instant. I know. I've seen it happen. Uh, do I have, like, pipe parts, maybe? Uh, a light. Oh, wait. I have no fuel. That <laughs> would have been such a good idea. Hmm. I wonder if I could be quick enough to just run through it. Uh, sort of, I guess. What do we have here? Spider webs and a um, little note over here. Am I still technically holding the hammer or something? Oh, I guess that was weird. <laughs> that didn't look quite right, but oh well. Day 71. My earlier assumptions on the benign nature of my cellmates may have been made an error. After a careful autopsy, I am concerned that there may be a small volume of natural chemicals stored in, in the stomach, which, if ingested regularly over a period of time, may become psychotropic or even lethal. My only real chance is to break out of here and raid any statues of supplies I can find. However, the evidence against such a move is insurmountable. One, I have no source of light. I swore to myself I wouldn't leave until I heard human voices outside, and the spiders are so tasty. Day 100. From the marks I have been making on the walls and my scribbled diary entries, which in the dark may amount to an illegible, an Ill illegible, I don't, I can't even read anymore. Scrawl. Today is the hundredth day of my new life. Over the past month, my edible friends have become more and more aggressive and have smelled, swelled in number and size. Whether or not this is a result of my plundering their ecosystem, I am unsure. However, at this rate of growth, they will soon be too large to crawl through the gaps in the walls. For all I know, I could only be seeing the tip of the iceberg. If all, el if all fails and I am never recovered, I hope at least that my study of, and indeed involvement with these fascinating creatures, will one day be regarded as an important point in natural, natural, natural history. The greatest names in modern science got there more got there more through fluke than talent, and it appears that the rule has extended it itself to my discovery of this delicious new species. I only pray that the second rule deems my breakthrough too insignificant, for all great discoveries tend to consume their inventor. 
No, really. No, you seem perfectly fine and normal. I don't know what you're talking about, man. If it weren't for the size of the pieces, I would say that it looked like eggshells. Oh, no. Oh, no. We are gonna die again, aren't we? At least you seem to recover health after a while again, so that's good. Because otherwise, I would be in a bit of a pickle. Let's see. Flee! Oh, no. What's going on? What is happening in the world? I don't need this rumbling. Run! Why is it still rumbling so much? What is that? Oh, do I see something in there? I hope not. Hmm. So far, so good. Oh, that's just a wheel. I am not afraid of wheels. Finally. This must be all that's left of the basement storage. That lock looks rather worse for wear. Well, I guess I could just budge it. Budge. Budge. That didn't make any noise. Don't worry, guys. I'm stealthy. Seriously. Guys. Du -du 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 -du. Uh, let's just quickly get rid of our hammer. Quick. Oh, uh, quickly move this thing just in front of the door, you know. What could possibly go wrong? Excellent. It doesn't look like I can actually move it anymore. Wow. This box is my new lock. My new friend. Who will save me from all these night terrors. Now, what do we have here? Fluid lighter glass. Ooh. So, I guess if I use this... If I use this on this, this should fire up now. Good. Just what I required. What is this? Hospital gray. Hmm. Well, you never know when you need some paint, I guess. If that is paint. Yum yums. Cannot pick up the yum yums. I can throw the yum yums. So maybe I can use this as lure as well. Not sure. It seems like it's slightly past its expiry date. Hmm. Hmm, I can pick up this rock. Of all the rocks, I can pick up this one for some reason. Not sure why. Can I do anything with these things? I mean, they're dusty old bags, so maybe if I hit them with a hammer, they'll be less dusty. This is not exactly the sound I would have expected a bag to make when you hit it with a hammer. But, you know, what do I know? I don't know nothing. These chests must be quite common. Oh, more batteries, I guess. Never know, but you need more batteries for... Actually, I should... Someone mentioned I should just keep the glow stick on at all times. That would probably be a good idea. At least then I know you'll be able to see something. But I'm scared. I don't like having light sources turned on in a game like this. It seems like a really bad idea. Hmm. Doesn't really look like there's anything of interest over here now. So I guess I'll just leave. Open the door. Uh, get the hammer out. Hammer and glow stick, a perfect combination. It's like a sword and a shield, only it's a hammer and a glow stick. Hmm. I wonder if I can enter through the ceiling somewhere, actually, considering that there was that one door I couldn't open. So maybe. Let me look at the ceiling some more. It would appear not here, but I found batteries and then some lighter fuel, so that's good. Never know where you need either of these two things. Run from the steam. It's a good thing this guy is pretty good at recovering from um, stuff like getting steam all over him that will blister his skin in fragments of a second. As he so beautifully put it. Oh, no. Oh, wow. I think I might be very close to dying now. How is my health doing? I can't feel my arms and legs anymore. Oh. That explains why I'm moving rather slowly. I guess I'll just wait here for a while. I just kind of hope the pitter-pattering will go away one of these days. It seems to be really close to here as well. I wonder if that's actually relevant or not. I'm not even sure, to be honest. It would be good if I could feel my legs again soon. My legs are kind of important to me sometimes. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can get anywhere from here. Oh. It looks like, it sounds like the sound is coming from that corpse over there, but... I hit that corpse with a hammer. So you'd think that would work, but no, I guess not. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I can use to recover my health. That'd be nice. I'd be entirely okay with this. Because this is getting rather annoying. <laughs> I've been in this direction before, haven't I? I'm pretty sure I have. Just gonna check it out one last time. Yeah, I have, okay. 
I think I found something there, but I don't remember what it was. Hmm. At least I'm slowly getting to the point where I'm not quite as dead anymore, so that's kind of nice. God, this flashing. I want it to end. Oh, what's going on now? I'm guessing that guy was still there. Hmm. Well, that's nice. That's that's great. That's exactly the sound I wanted to hear from um Exactly, especially in my current state where my screen is flashing every second. That's a good time for this to happen. Very good time. Can I open the door from here? No, I don't think I can. 